been so long. I don't, I don't know if I could do it. This is your channel. Just go film it. Mm -hmm. What if they don't watch it? Just go already. I'm back. Well, I kind of told you guys my name was Mr. Inconsistent and I'm just living up to my name. What's up guys? Welcome back to BC Garage and we're here with, finally, another video. And uh, yeah, before I get into this video, uh, first I want to say somehow we did it. We coasted our way to 10,000 subscribers and I want to thank you guys for riding with me through all my inconsistencies to finally get to 10k and who knows how far it will go and uh, who knows when my next video will be anyway for the occasion i figured it was fitting if i just go ahead and put something nice on formal tuxedo t-shirt up here party down below <laughs> well to get into today's video it's actually really special for me because uh I am at 10,000 subs now, so I was like, you know what? I want to do a special video. And it's funny, I kind of kept this under wraps, but I am not the only sneakerhead in my family. Actually, there is someone that is way more into sneakers and clothing and fashion than your boy would ever be. And it's finally time for us to uh, to merge our interests and, and do a collaboration video here, or at least for me to introduce you guys uh, to this cousin of mine, because I think he has a very unique story that a lot of you guys are gonna really like and, and might, you know, draw inspiration from. And he also has a pretty dope clothing and sneaker line. And uh, we're gonna debut one of his shoes here today on the channel, but also, uh, more importantly, wanted to get you guys to know him and know his story and know what it's about. And I figure instead of me trying to tell you all about it, he's had plenty of uh, reporters do news stories on him, I think, Let's lead this up to professionals. What I'm going to do now is just run one of those stories that they did on him, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about it in a second. We are back on a Saturday morning with a story about a man who overcame the odds and turned his life around after going to prison for selling drugs. NBC's Steve Patterson tells us how he used his own creativity to change the entire course of his life. If you're wondering why Daryl Alston is looking up these days, just look down. We want our shoes to be the conversation piece. So if you're not interested in the extra attention, this brand isn't for you. I got this store now, I want to get 20 more, you know? Check them out. Alston is the CEO and creative lead of Bungie of Licheni. We did the Python in the back. A high-end shoe designer bursting into the Philadelphia sneakerhead scene last year. They're made flashy to create buzz and draw attention. And this is one of my favorites too. But the original purpose was just to give Daryl his great escape from prison. I have over 250 designs. All while you were in prison. All while I was in prison. That creativity was always in him, but his first passion was music. Before jail, Austin was a fairly successful rapper, opening shows for headliners like Lil' Kim and LL Cool J. But he says the business was tough, and keeping up with the lifestyle was even harder. So to make a little money on the side, he sold drugs and got caught. The last vision that my grandparents have of me is me getting beat up by the police and getting sent to jail. His grandfather died while he was behind bars. I, I just remember breaking down immediately. You actually thought about suicide? Yes, definitely, a couple of times. Instead, he poured everything into his art. My mom, she was like, look, you know, I don't know how you're gonna survive if you don't create your own business. And immediately the light bulb went off. Alston used connections as a barber to hustle his shoes, but it wasn't until a chance encounter with boxing legend Bernard Hopkins that things really took off. I wasn't a fan of his first sneaks, but... Wait, 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 what was your reaction when you saw him? You think I'm gonna wear this? What? But the two bonded over a shared history and the same drive. It turns out both men were locked up in the same prison years apart. What about his story? are you inspired by? That he didn't get talked out of his dreams. Everybody got all the dreams when you're in there, but what do you do when you get out? I just wanna thank everybody for coming out. Today, Daryl is living his dream. His goal now, to do what his mentor did for him. I wanna be able to help other people like me that are either incarcerated or that just needs help to be able to create a business. A mission of redemption from the soul of a man who's reminded of just how far determination travels every time he takes another step. For today, Steve Patterson, NBC News, 
Philadelphia. And that's my cousin right there. And I ain't talking about play cousin. I don't have friends. I got family. That's the real deal family right there. So now let's just go ahead, take a look at these shoes because man, I'm, I'm super hyped about these bad boys. These are the Oblin Cine Kaleidoscopes. Now he has a lot of shoes out right now. And, uh, but these are the latest and the baddest. And man, let's just go ahead and take a look at the bad boys. I know a lot of you guys are like, hold up, that's not Jordans. Hold up, that's not a Nike. And, and it's not all about Nikes and Jordans, guys. You gotta mix it up a little bit. You can't be wearing Nikes and Jordans every day, all day. And then when you don't wanna wear them, you gotta step out the box right here because sometimes you don't wanna walk into a place and have the guy next to you have on the same shoes that you have on. You got these bad boys, that's just not gonna happen yet because I'm telling you, he's blowing up. Let's take a look at these. Kaleidoscopes. Woo wee man, look at the materials on this. Now I'm gonna pull these out so y'all can see them a little closer, but this is the real deal. This is probably the most premium shoe that your boy has had up in the garage. So uh, let's just go ahead, get these in hand, and I'll give you a little bit of once around. Here we are, the Kaleidoscope. Yeah, man. This shoe is freaking dope. I love the colors, I love the materials. There is nothing I don't like about this shoe. Look at that, is that ostrich? Yes, it is ostrich. Is that fine premium leather? Yes, that is fine premium leather. Is that fine premium suede? <laughs> no doubt, guys, no doubt. It's, it's Everything on this shoe is premium. I wouldn't lie to you, I, I, I just wouldn't. But <laughs> the shoe is freaking dope. The fit, the style, look at the style. It's just a classic, nice sneaker. So it's kind of like a, um, you want to wear sneakers, but you just don't want to wear the basic stuff. You want to wear something a little bit more high class. Make these people look and guess because they're going to want to know what these are. Believe me, believe me. It's got minimum branding on it. So a lot of people are still going to be guessing when you know, you know. But the Bungie Kaleidoscopes, Oblen City, Bungie. Bungie is the brand. Oblancini is the product line, and this here is the model. It is the Kaleidoscope. Tell me what you guys think about this. You wanna go check out bungiebrand.com. You can scroll through all of his sneakers, his shoes, his uh, apparel. If you're not following him on Instagram, you can follow him at bungiebrand on Instagram. Let's be honest, he's, he's kinda killing it right now. And uh, he's just gonna keep on going up. So I just wanted to say, yeah, I'm proud of my cousin. He's doing his thing. These shoes are freaking dope. And, uh, I mean, I don't know what else to say. What's real is family. Thank you guys for joining me on this video. If you didn't already, please hit that subscribe button. I don't know how far we're going to go up on this channel, but let's just ride it and see. Look, we made it to 10K, baby. Let's just keep going. Go ahead and check out BungieBrand.com, BungieBrand on uh, Instagram. And, uh, man, oh, you know what? I'm feeling kind of generous right now. I got this new Beastie Garage hat on. And uh, for the first person that goes on uh, bungiebrand.com and purchases a pair of shoes, and they can send me proof on beastly underscore GT on my Instagram, I'm gonna send you out a Beastie Garage hat. So it'll go from one of one to two of two. It'll just be the two hats, just you and me. We'll just have the hats. That's it. How about that? All right? All right. <laughs> That's gonna end this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out of this joint, guys. Hopefully not for long. Yeah, baby, the bungee's in hand. <laughs> hey, just wanna say, man, it's taken me a long time to do this video. I actually filmed this video maybe two or three times because it's hard to do a video for your family when, you, when, it, when it means so much to you and uh, you just want people to like it, you know, you, you kind of overthink it, but I just wanna make sure you guys understand that this is really a dope shoe. And, and he has a dope story. He's a great guy and uh, I want to support him and everything that he's doing. He's a black owned business. He came up from the ground up and he's doing his thing. So yeah, dope shoe, dope guy, love my cousin, doing his thing, bungee brand, I'm Blancini, and now we're out. Yeah, it's like 100 takes later though. <laughs>
family.